Hello and welcome along to another lesson with Mr Burns. In this lesson we are going to calculate a week's wage uh, for David who is working 38 hours that week and getting paid £8.50 per hour. Now I'm going to share two techniques for you to be able to calculate this without a calculator. Okay, so every hour he's getting £8.50. So we could, if we wished, do a tower sum, £8.50, 38 of them, and then add vertically. Okay, knowing that multiplication is repeat, repeated addition, then we know that the sum that we need to calculate is £38.50. Okay, now if we were to set that up as a tower sum, with that decimal point here, we could run into some problems. Okay. So, first method. Let's calculate the whole pounds using a tower sum. I think tower sum is the most common name for this. Certainly in central Scotland. Right, so 38, 8, eight pounds. Okay, so 8 times 8, 64. 8 times 3, 24. Other 6, 30. Okay. Right, so we've got 304 pounds from that. Okay, but we've still got 50 pence. 50 pence. 38 50 pences okay if it was 38 pounds then it would be 38 pounds so we went half of that okay so half of 38 2 into 3 goes 1 remainder 1 2 into 18 goes 9 okay so we've got 300 and four pounds plus 19 pounds so four and nine is 13 one and one is two is 20 tens column and 300 okay so david's wage for that week is 323 pounds and no pence okay so that's method one. Okay, looking at it as 38, eight pounds and 38, 50 pences. Look at the calculations involved there. Okay, so method two. Because we are multiplying 38 by eight pounds 50, we can consider that as 38, multiplying 850 and then dividing by 100 okay so this is this pounds is going into pence and then we're converting it back into pounds at the end okay so area modeling okay so area multiplication good we've got 850 and we've got 30 8 okay so 8 3 is 24 and then we've got hundreds and tens which multiply together to give us thousands so 24,000 8 8 are 64 hundreds 5 threes are 15 10 times 10 is 100 so it's 1500 5 8 is 40 multiplying by 10 is 400 Okay, now because of the complexity of these numbers, the best way to sum this up is to just do a tower sum. Now, please be careful, making sure you have your ones all lined up correctly, your tens, your hundreds, your thousands and your tens of thousands all lined up correctly. Because you can do all this hard work and then make a mistake over here because you're not going back to your place value. Okay, so zero, zero, four and nine, 13. Okay, so 
Okay, same 13 we had here. And 6 and 4 is 10 at 2. Okay, the 1 and the 1 gives you the 2. 12, 6, 10, 11, 12. And 2 and 1 gives you 3. So, Okay, so we've got 3, 2, 3, 0, 0. Divide by 100 and then our pence into pounds gives us our 323 pounds and no pence. Okay, keep the two decimal places on there even if it is a whole to show that there's no pence because sometimes there will be. Alright, so two methods, known calculator, right? That's bringing in your numeracy skills, very important skill for any level of mathematics. Okay, well, thanks for watching then.